Hey guys, Ricardo, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, the unboxing just keep on coming. Right here, you'll see on <clears throat> screen, we have another cool product, and this product is actually a Acer laptop. And this is the Acer Aspire E15, and this is just a 15.6 inch full hd which means it's 1080p with a 8 gen intel core i3 processor which is the 8130u which six gigabytes of ram right which is the memory and one terabyte hard drive you also get a 8x dvd just in case you need that and of course this is a great laptop and it's from the e series as i said and i think the exact model is the e5 576392H. And of course, just in case, I'll put the correct information in the description or somewhere on screen that you can actually see. But of course, it's one of the cool laptop deals that was on um, Amazon. You can pick this up for about $324.99. The, the price might fluctuate or so on. But I think for what you're paying for, you're getting a very solid deal because 6 gigabytes of RAM with a Core i3 processor and the latest Intel um processor means that you're in for quite a nice solid performance so of course guys i'm operating the camera with just one hand and i'll try to get through everything so it comes in this plain box but of course you can see the tab right here so let me just um, show you and it's still sealed so nothing has been opened as yet on this side of the box there's nothing much and you can see it's just a general recycled box and for those who want to be environmentally friendly, it's always um, nice to have packages like this. So just in case you're wondering, where's the fancy box? And you can see the Acer Green Pack right here. I mean, it's made from recycled materials. So no threes were cut, in, cut down or any waste or um, unnecessary packaging was used, which is always nice to see when a company is environmentally friendly. Next, I'll open up the box. All right, guys, so we're back. So I have removed the tab. I'm just about to open it up, which, of course, if you have ever seen a Acer product being opened, you should know that, again, you can see nothing was wasted. Even the, even the internals was made from the recycled material. If you look right here, this is just cardboard. It's a much softer material. And, of course, you see right here, Amazon has included um, information. It says, having trouble, contact Acer first. And it gives you kind of a troubleshooting guide about connecting up your device for the first time and all that. But of course, if you know you're on the laptop, there should not be any issues. So I'm just going to put this aside. Next, I'm going to remove all of this from the packaging. Again, guys, before I finish with the packaging, after removing, you'll notice these things in it. And of course, if you have seen any new laptops, you'll know that this is the general layout. So we have the Acer Aspire um, E. 15 series and it shows you this quick guide right here i said setup guide we can actually remove this there's also another set of information here and you do get this um international information pertaining to your product might be a cd-rom i'm not sure but of course it does say something about um some information or packaging information about international i'm not sure so of course over here you have the adapter brick so let me just retrieve this and that's basically it for the package but before i go guys i'm just gonna remove all of this show you on the desk when everything is removed all right guys so as you can as you can see here guys this is the standard us um, adapter brick here is the head that comes on this just in case you want to see it so this will plug into the laptop this is the adapter brick with pertinent information written here and of course the us um, standard outlet jack which will plug into your wall outlet so what you want to do is to combine both of these by um, shoving this section in here to complete the adapter unit and of course the laptop itself comes in this um, sleeve so we're going to remove this as well all right guys so we have assembled the adapter brick and we're going to plug this in and remove the laptop from the sleeve over here. again guys you can see the laptop over here and 
I just want to say that the finish on the top is a smooth finish and you may be able to notice here it's kind of a brush kind of stain gray and it shows slight um, brush finish so you might be able to notice right here there's the Acer logo right at the back here and everything is in chrome now guys if you remember my other laptop which is this one over here you'll remember that they it has lit up keys and of course this is a aspire 5 series and of course mine uh, which is another unit that i have over here kind of have a different buck i'm trying to show here because the light is actually not very good but of course you still can see what i mean so you notice my one has a textured finish at the back right here and the acer logo is at the center with the aspire at the back right here as well but of course guys regardless of the difference this one is still a unique look for the acer series that gives it a standout appearance compared to any other models out there so guys with all of that being said let's flip this over to see how it looks from the various points so right away again guys i'm going to turn this around so forgive me again for the camera i just need to take my time there we go so as you can see here guys we have the section for the kins and lock right here i think there is a vent for excess heat there's also a mini what i think is a mini hdmi if it's not it should be a usb type c so i'm not sure i'll have to verify that later on there is what seems to be an ethernet port there's a VGA, HDMI, and two blue indicating that this is USB 3.0. On the front here, there's just the latch, and that's just to open up the laptop itself. So let me just move this around again. And of course, again, guys, on this side, you can see another USB 3.0. And right here, I think what is a headphone jack right beside the headphone jack over here we have the dvd drive and we have the section right there for the adapter um to be connected on the back there's nothing and around the front again guys i'm not going to flip this over to see what's on the back all right guys on the back you notice the information sticker there's also a section for ventilation there's a screw here not sure might be to remove the dvd drive and of course, if you look on the back right here, there is a quick access here. And I always love to see this on laptops because when there's a quick access here, it usually indicates that you usually can access the hard drive or the memory or a combination of both. And of course, on this unit, I know I'll be able to access the hard drive and even the memory. This is key in cases where you need to repair your um, laptop. In some laptops, there's no quick access panel on the back. And that would mean you'll have to dig very deep into the laptop just to make a simple repair, such as issues with memory and so on. And if you have done your own repair or follow tutorials on YouTube, such as the ones we do here on the channel, you'll know what I mean. And of course, guys, if you look over here, you can see the ports a little bit better while in the upside down. Um, we have this upside down. You can also notice that the brush finish was also extended onto the back which is nice which i like and of course you can see all of it right here there are these nice rubber, rubber grommets to make sure they are standoffs and of course this will be great for dissipating heat so no heat can build up beneath the laptop so next guys i'll be flipping this back over and powering up to give you a basic look at the interface guys at the front of the laptop right here you'll notice the webcam and it shows you your long life our long battery life which is a great claim it shows 12 i'm not sure if that's 12 hours yep it's 12 hours so they promise 12 hours but of course under various issues conditions that not by that might not be the case it says we get full hd which is 1080p as i mentioned earlier there is the acer you do get this nice little um, fabric over the keyboard to protect everything and of course while we're here guys let's look at the key so you have the qwerty keyboard setup and of course there is the usual panel for um these laptops so as you can see here guys compared to mine over here that you see that's another new laptop and of course this newer one over here which is for the review unit you'll notice that we have the processor 
So let me just tell you what's going on here, guys. It's an Intel Core i3, which is an 8th gen, meaning the latest as of 2018. So you'll have all those good stuff for the i3 processors, including graphic processing and so on. There's this nice Chrome Outlook, just like the other unit. And I like this because it highlights the pad trackpad right there. There's also the features, USB 3.0, as I called. There's the HDR cam, which is high dynamic range, which gives you that great picture. There's also, and let me just focus here, guys. You can pause and run through these features. There's the um, certified for Skype for business um, mic, true harmony speakers, fast 802.11ac um, Wi-Fi. There's USB, USB 3.1 for um, Type-C connectors that's been included in all the latest laptops. So earlier when I was showing you that port, it was not a mini HDMI, it was actually a USB type c port and of course you can see it as intel uhd graphics which is ultra hd graphics there's the intel core i3 8130u which is a 2.2 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 1.1.4 and of course that's great for overclocking performance and there is the 1000 gigabyte hard drive which is one terabyte six gigabyte of ddr3 and of course there is the intel UHD graphics and so on. But if I were to compare this to my over here, guys, you'll notice it's a little bit different. Like, for example, mine has a lower clock speed when it's boosted. Um, this one is 2.2. Mine over here, which is a totally different laptop, is 2.4. But the, of course, things like this will vary. Um, mine is DDR4. This one over here is DDR3. But of course, this is less and this one is more and i'm just kind of showing you the cool things that's compare comparant or we can compare i don't know where i get a word comparing between both um models but you see guys this is the model here the e5 576 392h and you're seeing everything as i'm seeing it for the first time guys so i hope you're enjoying this overview of this laptop in case you're thinking of getting it let's see if it comes charged out of the box so right away the power can be found on the keyboard right here it doesn't seem to want to power up so let me just hold it a little bit longer all right don't think it might be dead and of course from the back i realize it might be a built-in battery too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this in and come right back all right guys so the batteries was actually dead so as you can see here we're booting up so in the meanwhile guys as i said the keyboard layout is cool we have a full um, numeric pod over here so you do get the full layout and a 15.6 inch screen is doing quite well remember this is a 1080p screen so i might have to cut out this video due to no one wants to see windows booting up all right guys so everything is booted up and of course you can notice the 1080p screen display it's indicated by how fine the um everything is is in detail but of course guys the keyboard is not lit so that's kind of a bummer but it's not a deal breaker so of course guys if you notice on the display here everything should be as advertised so for example if we were to go and check out the specifications as to what was um, promised or what was said on the packaging you simply have to just go to pc you can just right click and we can just hit properties and as you can see here, it's the E5-576. You see the processor speed currently. And you can see everything is correct. It's the 2.20. And of course, as soon as this chips in for the um, overclock, you should get the 3.4 or the turbo as they call it. There's the 6 gigabyte of RAM. It's a 64-bit operating system. If we go to device manager, guys, we should be able to check the processor to see what type of processor is included as in how many cores so if you look over here you'll notice it says here and of course excellent we're seeing four cores here which is means um the i3 processor with four independent cores are seen as four independent cores and of course if we go back right here and close out this window we should be able to see the hard drive and as you can see it shows 908 of free of 930 and that's because the hard drive itself um, portions is reserved as um, reserved sectors so you won't get the entire terabyte which is a thousand and about 24 
um, gigabytes which makes it terabyte and of course you can see the DVD drive so far guys this um, system is very responsive it can play HD videos and of course that's what it's designed for so if you're in the market for something that's great for business or pleasure in terms of watching movies um, processing documents visiting websites social media and all that while doing a nice um, basic video editing and photo editing this laptop strikes the perfect balance between what I would call somewhere between a mid-range to a high low-end laptop and of course the price that you're paying for it does make up for any small shortcomings that this laptop has and of course while the keys are not lit which is not the end of the world the um, trackpad is highlighted with this so of course the screen does give some glare and that glare actually helps highlight the trackpad it's comfortable to type on the keys give nice feedback and of course you get the latest version of Windows Cortana will be there to help you straight throughout the process and of course guys this has been a look at this laptop and all of its main features if you have any question pertaining to this laptop guys um, as we have reviewed here and unbox please ask below and of course guys with any new device it will take some time to get used to but of course as we go along we should get used to this device so you can ask any question that you like all right regardless from luckily tips saying bye until next time guys bye